Hi, this is BB. My dog Ruby is still ignoring me. This is Hustle Cat. Our beloved, our girl, Miss Mason, just decked this dude in the face. And I do wish we had been able to get Landry, uh, Landry's route done first, because you would understand from what I've gathered, just from like bits and pieces, when when it comes to this part in the storyline for all the other people that you date, they have to like they like tap into their like spoiler alert by the way they like tap into like their their major like their magic source and like kick ass that way mason doesn't give a shit <laughs> she just decks this dude and it's like it's so good after you finish like landry's route and like you see how much he had to like come into his own magic wise and like there's other things that happen and <laughs> you're like oh this is gonna be so tough blah 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 she just comes in she's like no fuck that i'm just gonna kick his ass and it's very yes good job mason <laughs> we say mason you just sucker punched a witch <laughs> that's a very good line <laughs> mason cracks her knuckles shouldn't have tried to touch you she says she everything she says is literally just breathtakingly good it is so good we say that's not gonna be enough he's gonna wake up sooner or later what are we gonna do she says hmm finish him <laughs> she scoops me in her arm with no more difficulty than if she was picking up a cat she runs she's so good <laughs> how okay so mason doesn't stop until we reach the door i'm like i please understand i'm just i'm just gay mason doesn't stop until we reach the door she doesn't put me down until we're inside She's winded when she sets me down on the couch. She flops down next to me and lets her head fall back, taking deep, heavy breath. We say, you didn't have to carry me all this way. She says, I guess she's gasping. Of course I did. Just give me a sec. Yeah, you did, baby. Yeah, you did. We say, okay, I'm going to lock the door and get you some water. Very good. You're the, you're the support role. You're the healer. Um, holy crap, now that I've had a few minutes to let everything catch up, my ankle hurts like hell. I try to hobble to the door, but it flies open before I have the chance. I ready myself for to fight a murderer armed with a bat, but it's Finley. Finley says, you guys, oh my god, the curse. She grabs my hands and does a little dance, but stops when I wince in pain. Oh, sorry, sweetie, you okay? Did I twist your ankle? We say, yeah, what's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're not going to try to, like, assuage her concern. Yeah, <laughs> what's this about the curse? She says, it's broken. We're all human again. Of course, I'll miss my jelly donut fame, but I'll live. Ooh, I'll start a new vlog. I, what's wrong? You look real messed up about it. We say, it's Graves. The curse must have broken because something happened to him. So, like, to be fair, I'm sure you find out more if you, like, unlock other storylines, and eventually I do think you unlock Graves. But it's not clear w what the hell is up with this guy, because he is the good guy. Like, narratively speaking, he's a good guy. It's not clear why he magics you all into being cats. <laughs> it's just... It just seems like kind of an asshole move, and it's not clear why. Maybe if you play and you figure it out, <laughs> let me know. We say, uh, yeah, something happened to him. Reese, who is like his adopted son, is like, Graves! <laughs> what happened? Where is he? And suddenly everyone is here. The curse must have broken for everyone at once. This should be good news. Imagine if you're like in cat form and you're like sleeping on a windowsill and you turn into human size. This should be good news, but we say, oh, Reese, it's bad. He's still out there, I think. He says, still out there where? He lunges, but Mason intercedes. Intercedes. That's another good word. Mason says, stop, they're injured, referring to me. Um, <laughs> Reese says, what happened to him? You've got to tell me what happened. We say, someone attacked us. I have no idea who he was, but he had a grudge against Graves. His name was Nate, I think. Reese says, I don't know who that is. What happened then? We say, this Nate guy, I think he beat Graves. Um... Or beat graves? Be graves. Not beat graves. <laughs> Reese clutches at his chest. He looks like he might fall over and pass out. This guy, Reese, is like level 100 anxiety at all times. He is so stressed out. He's going to have a heart attack. I reach out and ease him to the seat, but he swats me away. I knew it. I knew he was going to get in over his head. I knew another witch was on his tail, but he told me to stay out of it. He says, damn it, I could have helped. Why didn't he let me help? 
Reese sinks. Oh, my poor baby. <laughs> Reese sinks into the couch and slams the armrest with his fist. Beating on furniture isn't going to do anything, but if that helps him feel better. He sinks his fingers into the cushion and looks hard at the floor. His eyes gloss over. He's holding back tears with everything he's got. He's very sweet. Like, I know he's probably my least favorite. <laughs> he does rub me the wrong way a little bit. He's still a good character. Um, I feel really bad for all his blustering Reese admired graves a lot. Like, maybe too much? I think he was the only one of us who really did. I guess now, after Graves saved me like that, I kind of do too. You don't owe him shit. You don't owe him shit. Too little, too late, I suppose. <laughs> it's his fault you were in that situation, is the thing. We say, so now what happens? What do we do? Reese says, we avenge him, of course. <laughs> Get my bat costume. We kill Nage. We say, whoa, whoa, that's a bit extreme. He says, all's fair in a duel. If that's what this guy wants, that's what he gets. When he comes for the cafe, I'll take it back from him. We say, comes for the cafe? Why would he do that? He says, when a witch defeats another in a duel, they take the loser's property. <laughs> okay. We got witch law. But he'll have to beat me to get it. Landry, oh, there he is. <laughs> Landry says, is Graves really dead? We say, I don't know if Nature's intent was to kill him. Landry says, damn it. Ooh, Landry cussed. Now Landry's the one who looks pissed. That's kind of scary. I've never seen him do anything but laugh and smile before. So it's almost as jarring as seeing Reese cry. It's a very interesting thing that happens during his playthrough. Please, do play this game. It's very good. Um, Landry says, magic is a scourge. This always happens when you get too close. Reese's head snaps up. <laughs> what do you know about magic, he says. You haven't studied. Hayes readies himself with wide eyes, his mouth pursed, like the conversation is a game of double dutch played with live wires. This person, whoever wrote this game, and I get the feeling it was like a small, like probably one person, very good with the similes. We say, what is it? Hayes says, oh, why does everyone keep talking about magic? Was Graves cursed too? Finley says, he must have been, right? Um, he says, it all sounds so unreal still. Are you sure it's magic? Where have you been? Sweet angel boy, <laughs> where have you been? Reese says, of course it is. How else would this be happening? He was too strong to get cursed. That part was just us. Landry says, but he wasn't too strong not to curse us. Reese says, does that matter now? He's gone. And this Nate is going to be here to take everything else too. He spits the name like it's profane. Reese, why do, does it matter if he takes the, the cafe? If we're not cursed anymore, we don't have to be here. He spits the name like it's profane. Reese launches himself from his chair and storms to the door. He puts his hands in his pockets like he's concealing a weapon. We say, how would we, um, how would he just take the cafe? That's not how property works. There are like deeds and stuff. Not that I know much more about it than that, but I'm pretty sure my parents didn't kill a witch to buy their house. Reese says, of course it's more complicated. I don't exactly have time to explain witch territories. <laughs> witch territories! I just, one of my favorite things, it's just a small detail, but I've always loved it when the word witch is gender neutral. Um, Reese says, just know that when you're defeated in a duel, you give, capital G, your property to the winner. So unless Graves gave it away before the fight, Nate owns the cafe now. I remember Graves grabbing my hand and staring through me. I remember his words. We say, I think he did. Reese says, what? We say, before he fought, he told me to run away. He told me that he gave everything to me. Reese says, you? Why you? You're a newborn baby stumbling through the witching world. That's not fair. You can't handle it. I don't mean to cast aspersions, dear Reese, my friend. However, if you have been studying magic so intensely and you know so much and you're such a protege and apprentice and blah, 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 how come you ain't broke the curse yet? That's all I'm saying to you, Reese, my dear, my love, my friend. How come you have not broken the curse yet yourself? Fuck you. <laughs> Mason says, but Avery was there. I saw that matters. Should be happy Nate doesn't get it, right? Mason's standing up for me because Mason's the best. Mason says, sides, they might be a baby, but I trust them. Taught me after all. When Mason talks, everyone listens. As they fucking should. Even Reese. 
She wraps her arm around my shoulders, and it feels good to lean on her and feel her there. <laughs> Just show off, why don't you? Make everyone jealous. They couldn't take it. They couldn't do it. Um, we say, Reese is right, though. I am stumbling through it, so I need help, I think. I don't really know what to do next. Mason says, why don't we give it to Reese, then, if it's such a big fucking deal? Mason says, do know that guy's deal, but I don't think he's satisfied with just taking out Graves. He's going to come back to finish the job. Panic rises in my throat, but she gives my shoulder a reassuring squeeze. She says, do know about all you, but I won't let that happen. Reese says, you know I'm going to help, but only if you promise to help me recover Graves. We say, of course, it's the least we can do. Landry says, I'll go with you, Reese. I don't think Avery should be going out right now if they're a target for this guy. Plus, my foot is broken. Just saying. Finley says, you should stay here under guard for now. We'll take care of everything. You just rest up, okay? We say, Bamochi! Someone has to get my cat! That guy knows where I live. What if he takes Mochi hostage? <laughs> That's a real concern. I regularly can work myself into a um, anxiety disorder fit by worrying about someone hurting my dog. Um... Finley says, chill, Avery, I'll get him. Operation Fat Cat Drop accepted. Who's gonna guard me then, Hayes? No offense, but... Finley says, when I get back, you better show me this magic you're apparently teaching everyone else. <laughs> I can't believe you held out on me. Hayes says, I can patch up your ankle, but after that I'd like to learn some more about magic too. Landry says, I don't relish the idea, but I should at least sit in. I'm in, a, I'm in this too. Um... Landry's not a fan of magic. We say, guys, I'm just some screw-up kid. I don't have to do the... Wait, you don't have to do this for me. Mason says, of course we do. Finley says, yeah, you're our screw-up kid. We stick together through thick and thin, us cursed cats. Not cursed cats anymore. Tears of gratitude sting my eyes. I never thought I'd have friends like this. Who <laughs> endanger themselves for me? My high school friends would have run off the moment someone said curse. I love these guys. I vigorously scrub my face. Don't want to get too mushy. I hobble back to the couch. We say, okay, we can do this, right? <laughs> they all say, yeah. We say, promise me no one's going to get hurt, okay? Rory says, please, give us more credit than that. Finley says, yeah, this guy will be sorry if he underestimates us. We're all so fabulous. Then we enact our plans. Reese, Landry, and Finley all head out together. It's so weird to see them walk away from the cafe as humans. Hayes vanishes into the bathroom for the first aid kit. What do you... Sound effect. Okay. I say, what are you going to do, though? Like, other than wrap it, I guess. But, like, if it's broken, I probably need more than that. And if it's not, then it is what it is. Mason dips into the kitchen, and I hear a horrific screeching noise, like metal against linoleum. What is she doing? She returns triumphantly. She smirks at me, or more accurately, at the dumb gawking face I'm making. Lock the door, she says. With what? An industrial range? She gives me this self-satisfied smirk then paces in front of the front door and the windows like a sentry. Oh my god, who needs magic? She can snap that nature guy in half with her hands. She's so fine! <laughs> Jesus! Hayes is back with bandages and a bag of ice. Gingerly, he removes my shoe and rolls up my pant leg to get a better look at my ankle. Ooh la la! I'm glad I'm wearing socks that don't have holes. <laughs> Oof. My ankle doesn't look great, but it could be a lot worse. Hayes says, I don't think it's sprained, just twisted. You just need to rest. That's what I was saying. He slowly, neatly wraps my ankle with one of the stretchy bandages. When he pins it in place, it's like a pro's work. A professional ankle wrapper? We say, do you know a lot of first aid, Hayes? You're way calmer than I expected. He says, I studied in scouts. Injuries and things didn't bother me. Never have. Not everything makes me feel anxious, haha. Ha. I love Hayes. He's very good. And I really appreciate this this part of the scene where it shows you a lot more of the depth of these characters to kind of make you wonder more about their backstories, which you do find out if you take the time to like romance them in other playthroughs, so that's nice. We say, well, thank you. I'm glad you're here to patch me up. He smiles sheepishly and averts his gaze to the ground towards the ice pack. He props my foot up on the big one of the big puffy ottomans, then places the ice on my ankle. Oh my god, does that feel good. <laughs> Hayes says, now just keep it elevated and rest a little, and take the ice off in 20 minutes. Thanks again, Dr. Hayes, we say. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee. I think everyone will need it. 
I stress nap once Hayes goes back upstairs. Sometimes I need a system shut down before I can think straight again. It's actually very effective, by the way, to do that. I've done that a couple times. You just reset your brain a little bit and reset your emotions. It's very helpful. Anyway, uh, we're out of time. So thanks for watching. Take care. Wash your hands. Bye-bye-bye-bye.